to the top of the slide. We'll stop and turn. Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Last night, the Seattle Sonics traded guard Dale Ellis to Milwaukee for Ricky Pierce. The deal will become official as soon as Pierce passes his driving exam. (laughs) Oregon may once again make it a major crime to possess less than an ounce of marijuana. The city of Eugene immediately announced plans to secede from the state. (laughs) UW women's basketball player Lori Merlino missed last night's game to interview for graduate school. Husky football coach Don James said he would allow his players to do the same thing but none of them has ever been in that position. (laughs) The phone company says that by 1992, there may be no more phone numbers left in the Seattle area. Those wanting phone service will be asked to move to Puyallup. (laughs) In other news, in other phone news, the Internal Revenue Service is investigating a Seattle man for failure to report $100 million profit from telephone talk lines. The man says he's innocent, and will tell you all about it if you call (laughs) 1-900-INNOCENT. The Seattle Mariners plan to caravan around the state on a goodwill tour. The players say it's also a chance to get reaccustomed to road travel in anticipation of the day they return to AAA baseball. (laughs) A SeaTac councilwoman wants to bury a time capsule with important artifacts from their city. Among the items she suggests are earplugs and a motel sign reading hourly hourly rates available. The Pike Place Market will soon be open on Sundays. Now you can get a great piece of fish and a tie-dye t-shirt on your way to church. (laughs) A state legislator has proposed a Millie Vanilli bill, which would require a disclosure at all events in which the performances are not using natural voices. He said that Governor Gardner would be granted a special exemption. (laughs) The lost and found department at SeaTac Airport still has a DeLorean sports car, a box of whale eyes, and a case of silicone breast implants. (laughs) Officials say they're holding them for a rich whale killer with a lot of flat-chested girlfriends. (laughs) Ah, okay, uh, finally. (laughs) Brian Bosworth, whose movie... Brian Bosworth, whose movie Stone Cold is due out in May, has been named Action Star of Tomorrow by the National Association of Theater Owners. The NFL recently honored the boss by naming him Pathetic Overhyped Washout of Yesterday. 